Hello and welcome to Musings by Amit. If you are new to this channel, then my name is Amit Patel and you are watching Musings with Software Engineer. What should you like to say about career mainframe? Joined a company in mainframe project. Is it worthy to go deep with it? But I am interested in artificial intelligence. <clears throat> what are you doing in mainframe? Are you do are you just managing a mainframe or are you building projects on mainframe what is the programming language that you are using what is the domain you are working in because that is important what programming language you are working on what domain you are working on okay mainframe is also important because mainframe is still used right people could not replace this mainframe with the current of course a lot of people moved out from mainframe to whatever the new cloud or uh, infrastructure and other things okay but if you are interested in machine learning or artificial intelligence then i would suggest that you go ahead and learn these things on the side okay and make sure that your profile is strong for this and find a job in that okay within mainframe if there is any project which is in artificial intelligence because mainframe is just a infrastructure within mainframe you may have artificial intelligence projects so find out if there are artificial intelligence projects within mainframe what i also understand is there will be less engineers working on mainframe so competition is less okay after a certain period of time your salaries will be high in mainframe because uh, companies are not going to get a mainframe engineer because nobody is going to focus on that so all these factors come into picture so you will have to think about all these things and within mainframe if there are projects within artificial intelligence then you can learn that and then you can start getting into that okay because if you see one of the oldest mainframe uh, machines is ibm watson and uh, ibm watson was the first uh, machine learning algorithm uh, to build a chess program so they use machine learning and artificial intelligence to build a chess program that could beat that could beat the chess prodigy at that point of time the the chess masters at that point of time and i'm talking about 1960s because machine learning is even before uh computers machine learning the theory of machine learning theory of artificial intelligence the first conference of artificial intelligence happened in 1957 okay when this the way uh, it the artificial intelligence got its names name from that conference okay so if you think about artificial intelligence it's a very old thing so mainframe when you are working in mainframe find out what projects are there in artificial intelligence on mainframe because you are already on mainframe you can start going in that direction okay see no skill is unimportant okay i remember uh, in our company we required a database engineer okay so our company all the software engineers knew how to build a database how to manage a database and all but we required one engineer who was specifically working on database related project so we needed a database developer and we had one general engineer and he said i will do this okay now there was only one engineer who was only focusing on database development only one engineer in the entire company which means what this engineer got a lot of importance very soon he became an a player within that because he was the only person in database development at that point of time okay so he became really good as an engineer in database development and he his salary increases and everything happened because he accepted that particular role so if you are if you are you if you got this entry see this is an opportunity now what you make of this opportunity is in your hands okay this is an opportunity let's say you you go to indian idol for singing and you get an opportunity to be the 14 contestants the final 14 contestants but after you become the final 14 contest contestant how you perform at each stage event 
that will decide whether you win the prize or not so how you this is an opportunity you got an opportunity to work in mainframe now how do you use this opportunity to become successful that is in your hands and that you have to decide okay and if you think mainframe is not good for me and you want to compete with all the thousands of people like thousands of dot net engineers thousands of java engineers thousands of uh, javascript engineers you are free to do that but then you you will be in that competition you have to be best out of thousand how many engineers are working on mainframe maybe very few how many people you have to compete with very few people okay if there are two people running in the race and you come second you are still second always remember that okay uh vipin uh, kumar kobol okay kobol is a very old programming language and it is still in use i remember there was uh, i think uh, it was infosys or some company uh, this was many years back in 2008 when i was looking for a job infosys had a requirement for kobol engineers they were looking for cobol engineers with just 5 to 6 years experience or maximum 10 years experience they were ready to give 25 lakh salary 25 lakh salary at that point of time for a 10 years experience engineer in cobol no competition the more you work in cobol the more salary you will get because there are no cobol engineers now nobody does cobol nobody teaches cobol so if you learn cobol and if you become an expert in cobol then you will have a very bright future okay see remember if you uh what do you want to be you want to be the best within a a a team where you can be the best right so the smaller the competition the better you can be vipin cobol uses uh, main i know cobol cobol is used in mainframe and uh, you have learned cobol which is very good which is very good you are few of the rare people so if you become a master in cobol and master in the domain that you are working on and within cobol you can find out if there are any artificial intelligence projects because artificial intelligence has nothing to do with programming language okay so you can find that out and you can see that और इफ यू वॉन्ट वर्ल्ड इज नॉट फेयर वाओ सर आज तो आपने कुछ अच्छा सिखा दिया बियॉन्ड द सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट इंजीनियर यू आर वेलकम विपिन वेरी मच यू आर वेलकम यस विपिन वर्ल्ड इज नॉट फेयर डोंट एक्सपेक्ट द वर्ल्ड टू बी फेयर ओके राइट फ्रॉम द डे यू आर बॉर्न यू आर फाइटिंग फॉर सर्वाइवल टिल द डे यू डाई आफ्टर यू डाई यू डोंट हैव टू वरी बट फ्रॉम द डे ऑफ यू आर बॉर्न टू द डे you are fighting for survival the entire struggle is of survival okay and uh, best wishes to you i hope that you do well okay uh, don't worry about if you are working on mainframe which programming language you are working on does not matter how you do the project how you manage your client how you uh, build your application how you manage your application how you support your application all these things matter a lot so become the best in that and you'll everyone make sure that you subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon so that you will get the update share my video as much as possible because i am targeting 100000 subscribers on my channel so thank you very much see you in the next live on thursday at 9:00 pm